Hello, 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 all of our Motor City Solutions Facebook followers. Hope everybody is having a fantastic day today. I surely am. My name is Gwen Stacy, and I will be your host for today's little live feed. Um, we do, uh, at Motor City Solutions here, we do a weekly live broadcast from our 28,000 square foot hot rod shop here in Taylor, Michigan. It normally takes uh, a couple minutes for everybody to tune in and log on, so I just uh, thought I would use this opportunity to get my notification. Let's see. I didn't get a notification. Oh, wait. Motor City is now live. Got it! So, if you guys are just tuning in with us, see, can you see it? Sounds like it's... Uh, Working good. My trusty cameraman is um, not in with me today. Shout out to Dan the cameraman. Um, okay, so if you guys don't have your notifications on, um, if you hit the bell on the right hand side of the screen, there's a little bell, um, hit that and you will get a notification every time Motor City Solutions goes live. Um, if you're not following us on YouTube, so feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, we do post all the live feeds to our YouTube page. Um, and what else? We have Twitter, uh, Instagram, Snapchat. Um, we're pretty much on every platform at this point. So don't forget to like us on Facebook. Hit the notification bell so you can know when we go live. And um, yeah, looks like we got a few people tuning in and then off and then off. So, um, we are, if you guys are not familiar with Detroit, Michigan, um, we are in the metro Detroit area here. Um, I know that we have people from all over the world watching again. Woo! Woo! I think that is just too cool, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, last week when I read off the top five, I think I had said top ten countries, but only read five. So today I wrote down the top ten countries from last week. Last week, our um, Facebook reached 8.6 thousand people. Woo! That's awesome. So thank you guys um, if you are part of that 10.6 thousand. I think last week, or the week prior, yeah, it was, um, I'm sorry, this week 10.6 thousand. The week prior, 9.2 thousand, I think it was. Um, out of that percentage, 80% were men. So shout out to our guys in the house and 20% were women. Shout out to all the ladies watching. Ladies, we love girls who love cars. Um, here at the Hot Rod Shop, we you know, want females to feel welcome to bring their car in. I know it can be like a man's industry, but um, we just want to put that out there. Don't ever be nervous or scared to come and bring your car into Motor City because um, we are happy to help. So with that being said, 80% um, women, 20% men, 10.6 thousand from this past week. Woo, it's sunny out there. January 11th, and it's been a really mild, mild winter here in Michigan, and I'm not complaining. What do you guys think? Howdy, Thomas Jenkins. Who else is uh, with us? Comment below, you guys. Let me know where you are watching from. Interested to know. So, yes, I have a little piece of paper. Yes, I'm going to read from it. So the top country uh, watching last week was, can you guess? USA, yay, uh, not surprised there. <laughs> um, second was Canada, hey, hey mate, can I say that? <laughs> Thank you to everyone out in Canada watching. Um, third was Australia again, Grand Rapids, Michigan, Good Rich Ontario, Canada. Hello, Nick, how are you doing? Ha. <laughs> Thank you for watching Canada. Um, so three is Australia again. They were they were number three last week, and I know I said this last week, but I'll say it again. We do ship a lot of our lightweight composite parts. I don't know if you guys can see behind me there. Let's see. Um, we do ship a lot of our lightweight composite race car parts um, to Australia, so we're not surprised there so much. Um, we have lightweight composite doors, hoods, um, deck lids. So if you are interested, I will again share our website link below and you can check out that. <laughs> Thanks, Nick. 
Okay, and so four on the list is Mexico again, so it's not a lot of change up on the list here, but I'm going to read off the whole ten because it seems like you guys like to hear that. Okay, so um, Mexico is four on the list, and then Puerto Rico is number five. Shout out to everybody in Puerto Rico watching. Thank you for tuning in with us. Um, six is Brazil. Hello, Brazilians. Um, seven, Germany. Eight, South Africa. Nine, the Philippines. And ten, India. Yes, yes, this is real information. And shout out to Facebook because you guys really, I love that we're able to look at that and see where our viewers are coming from. And it just gives such, sorry, you guys got to grab my little drink here because I'm going to walk, walk on through the shop. Um, so if this is your first time tuning in with us, I um, forgot to mention that we are going to do a quick little tour, try to make a quick little tour around our 28,000 square foot hot rod shop here. Um, so if you're in, tuned in with us now, stay tuned if you are interested in seeing some of the shop. And we have been following up on the 1970 Mach 1. Shout out to Kevin Shelton. We just seen Kevin um yesterday hi kevin where are you watching from <laughs> um and we have also been following the 67 mustang fastback so we will um touch base with the guys back there see where those cars are at they are going to be autorama cars this year so um yes they are full restorations well i'm sorry the 70 mach one's full restoration the other is partial can i set this right here oh i have to go like this that's okay, because i got to take a drink of this. So comment below, you guys. Where are you watching from? I think I was saying that I love the um, data Facebook puts out. It's fantastic data. Hold on. Bear with me. And this is live, and this is raw, you guys. Like, there's no, you know, literally, like, I run in here, turn on the camera, like, hey, what's up? What's going on? I'm going to go see the guys. I haven't talked to them today. haven't seen them today. Like, it's literally, this is, like, as raw as it'll get, and it's off the top, not scheduled, not planned. Shout out to Lipton. Delicious. And also shout out to um, also shout out to um, sociallightmedia.com, sociallighting.com. That is where I have been getting some of our equipment for the live feed and I think it's working fantastically. Um, shout out to um, we actually did get a new our, our, I got a new um, Rode microphone. So if you guys can hear me okay. Hi, Riverview is in the house. Um, so if you guys are, can hear me okay, I wish I could take the camera off and show you. And then I got this Ulanzi. Uh, I can't take the camera off and show you, but maybe I'll show you some other time. Um, I guess it's a, some type of gimbal, but it holds your phone, and then we got the lights, so when we see the guys, we'll turn those on. And then also the wide-angle lens, which I absolutely love, and that's sociallighting.com too. So that's some of the equipment that we are using to put the live feed on today. I know you guys were interested in hearing that. Um, maybe when I go see some of the guys, I can get some of them to hold the camera and maybe sh I could show you a little bit of this stuff. But, um, okay, so we're going to start our little tour here. Thank you so much for tuning in, you guys. Um, hit the like button one time if this is your first time watching live, because I know sometimes people watch afterwards. And so hit the, hit, hit the like button if this is your first time watching live. Seems like we've um, been getting a lot more viewers lately and I just I do just want to real quick give a shout out to um, the American Muscle Car Group on Facebook out of um, Taipei City in Taiwan China <laughs> don't laugh Stitch is laughing at me you, you think I'm playing no, it's just amazing that we're, uh, having viewers from right over there. I know it is amazing isn't it do you want to know the top 10 countries I just told them You'll have to watch the live feed. Oh, I'll do that. <laughs> that was good. Oh, I yeah, I love it. So you guys, right behind me, I'm gonna switch the camera around here. Um, but this is Stitch, our interior trim specialist. Bear with me, you guys. What's the story behind the shining? Here's Johnny Pick. Okay, I'll uh, Bill Russell. We'll have to get with our um, airbrush artist, Mark Van Ash. But you guys, like I said, it's live. It's raw. I gotta switch this camera around with the wide-angle lens. 
We're going to talk to Stitch, Stitch, see what he's up to. Thanks for tuning in with us, you guys. Comment below and um, comment anybody's name that you that you would think is into classic cars. Because um, we are, and that's what we're about here. So let's uh, flip it up. Here we go. How do I flip the screen? Okay, this is going to be tough, Stitch. <laughs> I'm like, here we go. And then I'm like, you guys see all the pain of it. Can I set this right here? Yeah. Okay, now I just got to go... Okay, so just give you a little example real quick. This is the, hey Brownstown, in the house, in the house. Okay, so this is the, um, oh actually, watch this, you guys, it's about to go down. Do, 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 do. Okay, is, did this work? Yep, got it. Okay, did that get lighter at all? I don't know. So I just turned the lights on, and then this is without the wide angle lens. Okay. This is without the wide angle lens, and then I gotta get it on there straight. But once I do, I'm working with some new equipment. Dirt, dirt, dirt. <laughs> okay, that's not working right. There we go, here we go. Okay, so that's without, and this is with the wide angle lens. Huge difference. Right? So without, and with. But it's so funny this is live. Like I said, it's live and it's raw, so you gotta bear with me. I gotta. Alright, is it on there? Alright, we're looking good. We're looking good. We're looking good. Stitch, quit laughing at me. <laughs> I know. Oh, I love you. See, this, these are my people, you guys. This is why I love That's why I love it here. Okay, so. How are you? Good, good. Good. We missed you last week. The viewers were asking about you. Yeah, I uh, took off early. Oh, nice. I had a lot of things at home to do, so. Yeah, I was saying it's been such a mild winter, hasn't it? Yeah. Absolutely. So you were working on the seat for the Mustang last time we checked in. Uh -huh. Looks like you are... No, I know they said they're waiting on that chrome piece, I think, right? Yeah, we'll wait for the details. It'll have that back up under the hydro. Okay. Back. So you were on another project in the meantime? Uh, yeah, I did that uh, headliner in that chrome. Okay. You did? Can we see? It's gone. Oh! Left this morning. What? What Camaro? What Camaro? The blue? No, that red one. Oh my red. God! Give me a heart attack, uh, would ya? Headliner was completely. Yeah. Okay. I know. Yeah, I know which yeah, one you're so, referring uh, to now. Finish that up. Took care of it. The lights are awful bright. Too bright? Is it too bright? Yeah. Okay. This is without the lights. Um, Let's have the viewers but I did, judge. Uh, the headliner in this orange Mustang. Oh, you did in the Mac One? Yeah. Holler. You're like, the lights are a little bright. Okay, so this is with, hold on, I wanna see the light difference. That's with, and that's with. Can you guys see better? Is there any difference there? Definite? Okay. Come on, pass, let me open the door. Okay. There you go, go ahead and pick up Thank there. you, sir. Here, can you hold that? Can I go in there? Yeah. Okay, now you're the cameraman, uh -oh. Stitcher. <laughs> New cameraman. New cameraman. Don't mind me. Oh my gosh! <gasps> wow, it looks fantastic. I love it. What Don't is mind that? The dusty spots. Is that vinyl? Yeah. Yeah, wow. It's the uh, original headliner material that they would have used back in the day. It's really nice. Those are just a couple little dust marks. Oh, so no, I, yeah, no, I know. You guys got to do your final cleanup after you do the whole interior, right? Yep. Yeah, it looks awesome. So, what was your, where was your um, start and end game here? Uh, it is really bright that light. Started lighting. in the front in the back and then start pulling on the sides. Okay, what's your next um... Uh, well, I'm not really going to be doing anything for quite a while. They got to basically put the whole car back together. Uh -huh, Here, you what? take the camera back. Okay. Can I put the lights on you? Yeah. Well, it looks good. <laughs> okay, wait. How about this? How about this? Do do do. Is that better? If you could turn them down, it'd probably be better. How's that? Is it still on? Yeah, yeah, it's still I on. can't see you though. Really, it makes a big difference. Wow. It really does. Okay, so, can I have a hand, doll? Headliner is looking fantastic. I almost pulled you in here. <laughs> the headliner's looking awesome. Kevin Shelton, I know you are loving it. Autorama 2019. This is the 1970 Mach 1 we were talking about. I know last week we were looking with Ricky, and he was actually doing the um, interior... The uh, door panel. Yes, that's it. Yeah. Uh, the door. I said, wait, where's... And then I looked in the trim room and you were gone. 
I was like, no, well, that's okay. Hey, you gotta take a day when you gotta take a day, right? I've been working on this T-Bird. What year? It's 55 T-Bird. I guess the car got in action at one point and actually folded the car up like that. Oh, wow. And the top would not fit. So we had to modify the top stack to actually get it to fit in the body because it ended up like that, an inch and a half narrow at the head. Uh huh. And it just kept falling down in the middle, nothing we could do about it. So Johnson did some work on the body, brought the middle back up, opened it up a little bit, but he also found out they did some serious work on these door jabs. Mm hmm. That they actually cut the body away and shrunk it. Wow. So, shrunk it? Yeah. What? So it, it, it caused the car to sit like that and the top was way too big. Uh huh. So we had to modify the top and get it to fit. And since this is a stock top cover, I have to modify it and really work it hard to try to get it to fit properly. Yeah, wow. Because it, it's, the ball was actually moved forward about an inch because everything that we had to do. Yeah. And when you move anything, well, it throws everything else out. So hopefully uh, it will be a good working condition. It's actually looking a lot it better. It looks a lot better. Yeah, yeah it does. A lot better than I thought it was good. I thought we were going to have some really nasty back. No, it looks really it nice. Got a little bit of too tight here, but other than that, that's... You, you guys, know, comment below. Let us know what you think of the 55 T-Bird. Can I turn this down? Look at this is like cameraman's worst enemy right now. Hello. How do I do? Okay, volume. Bye. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Could you guys hear that radio out there? I don't know. It looks really, really good. And is this the one that's actually from Iowa, Stitch? Yeah. Okay, so shout out to Jeannie and Jim Thurston. Jeannie and Jim came to us. They had saw our ad um, in the Cruise News Magazine um, during the Woodward Dream Cruise. They had come all the way from Iowa. Jeannie has had this T-Bird in the family for like um, 45 years, I think. So, and just a quick little note. When I get a classic, I'm gonna get me one of these boys. Maybe a 57. What do you think? Just buy the one that Rick Farrell's building for his wife. Yeah, I'd love to. Well, is, are they gonna Brand sell new it? chassis, everything underneath, and it's gonna look like a stock original car except for the interior and the chassis. Is, is that the, the, um... They put an LS3 motor <gasps> in it. Oh! Not an LS3, uh... Shoot, no, I can't think what it is. Is it like a more modernized? Uh, Ford nice! Uh, yeah, that's is it that teal modern. one? Yeah. I love that. Ooh. That should be in uh, sometime after uh, the Autorama. Oh, I cannot wait, and I can't wait for Autorama. Are you excited? Oh, yeah. I love it. Um, you know, get a few cars in there. I know, more than a few. Yeah, we're going to have a big old space. Yeah, they want me to put in an interior display. Ooh! I love it. Yes. We're going to be like right in the middle. Huge 60 feet, I think, of space, right? 20 by 60, I think it was. Yes. Yeah. I'm so excited. Let me get a little bit right there. All right. Love it. All right. Well, Stitch, you guys. This. I'm sorry. You guys, this is Stitch. There we go. He's working on the outside of the interior trim room today. Thank you, Stitcher. You're we'll welcome. see you next week. Y'all have, have a mighty fine one now. You hear? Can you hear with this little microphone here? Um, if you guys are just tuning in, we are live at Motor City Solutions, Hot Rods and Restorations, located in Taylor, Michigan. You guys are awful quiet today. I don't see a lot of comments going through here. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Okay. Well, don't mind me. I'm just walking right by the 67 Fastback here that we are that we are partially restoring for the 2019 Autorama. Shout out to Dave and Barb Hartline, the owners. Car's looking fantastic. Looks like they are maybe getting it ready for the booth. Let's see if we can find, uh, let's see if we can find ourselves one of them professionals around here. Excuse me, sir. Oh, not much. I just happened to literally run into the 67 in the middle of the um, aisle way there. You guys, this is Tad Wilson. He is our painter here at Motor City Solutions. I got to introduce you now because people from all over the world are watching. 
right? <laughs> you you want to talk to us about the 67? You got a second? Yeah, we uh, pretty much have it just about ready. Uh, the car itself is ready, mm -hmm. so we're all set on that. It's just a matter of taping it up, getting in the booth, ready for paint. So you're getting the booth ready? Yeah, I'm prepping the booth for the uh, next two paint jobs. This one we kind of got on hold just for a brief moment because we're waiting for the hood to come back. Oh, okay. Where's the hood? We sent the hood out and had it acid dip and coated. Oh, really? Why? What'll that do? Uh, stripping off some of the paint that was on it. It was a little too heavy. It was bridging over in areas. Mm -hmm. So uh wanted to get that off there so we got fresh, clean material to start with. Yeah, absolutely. So, so is, is it all gapped up? Everything's ready to rock and roll? Everything? Yep. We're all good on all that stuff. It looks fantastic. And the Heartline was in last week? Yes. Very happy with it so far. Very happy with it? Good. We're happy to hear that. Man, look at how clean and sharp this is. The gap thing is perfect. Oh, well, that's not shut. Let me look at a better example here. There's no door. Right. <laughs> There's like no doors. I can't, so I can't really. Let's do the gap test. Oop, that was my nail, not the, t not the car. <laughs> no, it looks fantastic, though. Absolutely. And I think... I don't think that the 67 is going to be at our spot for Autorama, but it will be in Autorama. Dave will be um, having it judged, I think. I believe so. I believe so. So, um, all right. Well, it looks fantastic. So, you're just in there cleaning the booth up, yeah. getting it ready? We're getting all my materials ready for the next few jobs. Can you tell us a little bit about what kind of booth we got here? Uh, two different booths. Two different booths. Okay. Got a full down ramp set up and then this one here is a semi down drive. Okay. Um, the difference with this is it pulls it right through the ceiling, rotates the air through the four filters, so it makes a nice envelope around the car. Mm -hmm. Can we, is that door open? Can we can we look at a, the whole thing? Is the lights on here? Yeah, the lights are on. Are they bright? Are they killing you? Stitch was like, this is too much. Not too bad, not tan. So this is our full booth here. Very nice. Change out all the four filters in it, so. Uh, so you said you were getting it ready for the next two paint jobs? Yes. Yep. Okay, yeah. so how often do you have to re-prep the booth for next paint job? I do every job. Uh, oh, wow. As far as four filters, both maybe, depending on how many jobs we run through, mm -hmm. probably six, eight jobs, mm -hmm. I'll change out the four filters. I like but it. Every time I put in a new car, I'll go through and sweep it all out, and I'll actually vacuum the cement areas. Oh, wow. Get yeah, it looks really good. And nice and clean. Very good. And then what about our other booth over here? Another one. This is the mixing room. Dun, 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 where all the magic happens, per se. That needs a good bath, too. He's like, that needs a good bath. Don't go on there. The Vertex. Brrr. Okay, tell me about this one. This one's a semi down draft. What it does is, as you see in the other booth, the floor section with filters in the floor. Okay. Uh, this one actually comes to the ceiling here, comes across the car to the back wall, and sucks it out. Mm. And the other one sucks it out through the floor. Okay, so what are some of the benefits versus, you know, with sucking it out through the floor versus the ceiling? Um. Because I know you guys use this one more for like prepping and priming. Yep. And then the other one for like for when you're putting the color on. Does it have anything to do with where the where the air is getting sucked out through? That one over there is definitely a nicer one. The way it, it actually pulls it all around the whole car. It sucks it out from underneath the car pretty much. Mm -hmm. This one will drag it basically across the car. So oh, okay. And that can mess with the paint job. The car different. Oh, oh, that's crazy. Um, a lot of people yeah that's something pick up on that but you actually got a spray your spray technique in a semi down wrap versus down wrap mm -hmm. it's going to be different no kidding um, so just the way it pulls across you want to always stay in a wet surface every time you paint um, one end to the other yeah that's crazy i never knew that tad yep. i like it all right well i guess i'll leave you to setting up your booth all right, all right. have, have a, good, have a good day that's tad wilson you guys our painter here at motor city solutions hot rods and restorations. Um, In-house right now, I think that we have probably over, probably over 30 cars. If we're talking about our other building, if we were including our other building, we um, probably, 
have close to 60. <clears throat> Classics. Sir? What's up? I'm just kidding. Is that light too bright on you? It's a little bright. How's that? It's alright. Okay. Ooh, what's that? This is Rick Carpenter, one of our master mechanics here at the Hot Rod Shop. Looks like he's doing some wiring, no surprise. <laughs> Testing the lights. Testing the lights. If you're mad at me, you can't be mad at the viewers, Rick. So show love. Just uh, busy. Trying to make sure this works. Carl Zellmer says, hi, Rick. How you doing, Carl? Hi, Carl. I wonder if the microphone's picking that up. Come around this head. Yes, sir. You the thing is like Oh. Turn the light off. Oh, wait, hold on. Don't do it. I don't know how to do it. Oh, that's on. Turn that on. Oh. Got it. Okay. Oh, hey Kevin. Kevin, that's a weird way to spell your name. Oh wow. That looks fantastic. Can I go right here, Ricky? I'm sorry, I don't wanna. Yeah, that looks awesome. How's the light picking up out there, viewers? Can you guys see it? Doing well. Yes, it is. Carl said it is looking good. I like it. So what one is, what's this for? The Nova? No, uh, Mach 1. Oh, this is? Yeah. Really? I just redid the whole cluster. Nice. It's got LED backlights now instead of the regular incandescent bulb, so it's a little bit brighter. Mm-hmm. Now, did the customer pick that blue or? No, that's factory. Oh, okay. Nice. I like it. So what kind of, um, you said you redid the dash cluster? Yep, I tested all the gauges, uh, put a new face on it, all new bulbs, a new printed circuit on the back. What kind of, um, what vendor did we get the cluster from? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, we got what? We got from NPD, National Parks Depot, but I don't know what brand it is. Oh, surprising. Is that, uh, I thought for sure you knew, I thought for sure you were gonna say American Auto Wire. No, they don't, uh, they don't make this part. They only do, uh, wires. Oh, okay, okay. I like it. Well, it looks really good. Seems like the shop is super mellow today. Everybody's like, Mah. Friday, everybody's... No, it's never like this. Oh, yeah. No, he's lying. Don't listen. So what else is going on in the shop? Do you want, can you want to go for a walk with me? Tell me about some cars. Come on, don't leave me out here by myself. I've just been working on Mustang stuff. Mustang stuff. Scott's been working on quite a bit of things. Oh, really? Things, yeah. What's he been working on? Uh, he's been working on the limousine. Uh, I love that limousine. Model A over there and the GTO he's been doing some stuff on. Okay, well, I'm going to go see if we can find him. All right. Ricky, the cluster and the lights look fantastic on the Mach 1. Interior Pete Dash. Yeah? There yep. we go. Thank you, Rick. Super weird in here today, you guys. Super chill. Dave, why is it so quiet in here today? That's Dave as well. Careful, don't break a fingernail. I ain't breaking no fingernails around here, okay? <laughs> well, I'm trying to find Mr. Dronzella, one of our ASC master, certified master mechanics, but he looks to have disappeared. Looks like they are working on, I think this is a 29 Ford, 1929. Hmm, let's see if I can get a peek on the inside. Wiring, no surprise. Okay, well, there's that. Do 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 do. So comment below, you guys. What's up? Where's uh? Is Josh or Johnson around? Hey, Pat. What's up? How are you? Josh and Johnson are both around, but they're talking to a customer. So I don't know about interrupting. I don't want to be rude. If I do, I just tell them. Pat said to interrupt. We can look from afar. So that is the owner of the Blue 73. Looks like they are checking out the engine. 
with Josh Hoy, our fabricator here, Jeff Johnson, our sheet metal, our sheet metal extraordinaire, I call him, and Mike Lowengruber, our American Speed Company sales specialist. So I don't want to, you know, interrupt or anything, but I kind of do because I want to ask Mr. Johnson what's the status of the Tempest. Fine, thanks. Pat, where are you watching from? Who else do we got? Carl, Bill, Chris Fairbanks, Bill Deister, are you still with us? Shout out to Bill Deister, owner of Motor City Solutions. 67 Tempest, yep, 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 you got it. Kevin, I love the way you spell your name. Did I say that? Yeah. Looks like Dave's checking in on the status of the 1970 Mach 1. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It is so quiet and weird in here today. I know that Mr. Mitchell was working on the 2013 Corvette, but he is not here at the moment, so I don't want to give all the good stuff away. But um, if you guys saw that video, I know they put the panther horn, so when you beep the horn, this thing hurts like a panther, literally. <laughs> and he did the hood. Custom hood and the, um, what else did he do? There is, there's like a hood piece underneath. I guess, I don't know what you would call it, but it's like, it's almost like a piece of fabric and it has a picture paint, like painted on it. And anyways, I don't know how to say that. Don't let me get off you. Talking about something I don't really know. Why would we want to do that? We wouldn't. So anyways, it's kind of quiet in here today, you guys. Sometimes we have days like that and it's little, we are live and this is raw and never know what you're going to get. So thank you so much for tuning in with us today. Um, if you are not following us on the YouTube, definitely subscribe and like us on Facebook. Hit the bell on the right hand side to get live notifications every time we go live and on all the other platforms, Insta, Snapchat. Twitter and thank you so much for watching wherever you guys are watching from I know like I was saying people from all over the world are uh, tuning in with us and we really appreciate that you guys so comment below let us know what you guys want to see on the next live feed if um if I see it in time I will bring it up on the next live feed thanks so much for tuning in you guys I hope you have a fantastic weekend and we will see you next week later